Oh my god, hey, it finally worked. Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the stream. I'm so happy I finally got it to work. All day yesterday, I could not get the damn stream to work, so I couldn't end up streaming anything. I was super pissed off. But uh, here we are. It looks like we're able to stream today, so uh, we're going to resume our death march here on Hardcore, the Virgin run through. Uh, let's see, let's continue from where we were. And uh, we're actually... <clears throat> I think we're getting kind of close to the end of the first act, so that's good. But uh, yeah, super happy to be streaming again, because holy shit, was it getting annoying yesterday. So you lived I had nothing you better to do. I actually signed up for a bunch of uh, online like certification classes, like Lean Six Sigma Black Belt and stuff like that. Stuff that costs like tons and tons of money, but you go on Groupon, you get it for like 1% of the asking price, which is awesome. Uh, so yeah, here we are, and I completely forget how to play as a witch doctor. I've been playing a bunch of different stuff uh, lately. I pre-ordered... Uh, Blurk, blurk, blurk. I pre-ordered uh, Scholar of the First Sin already, so... The mo the moment that comes out, I mean, that's just going to be like an all-day stream deal. That's going to be freaking awesome. Um, I'm deaf. I mean, there's no, there's no way I'm not going to just spend like seven hours in a day streaming the crap out of that and playing it and just getting my ass handed to me probably, but it'll be tons of fun. I can't wait. Oh man. Well, we'll get to the fighting here in a second, so let's see. Alright, so what was our mission objective? Enter the Halls of Agony, level 2. What the hell is that? Oh, I know where we were. Yeah, we're here. Okay, so I've got Bola Shot, Rapid Fire, Caltrops, Vault, Rain of Arrows, and Sentries. All right, we're gonna do it. Let's see. Need more time. Actually, I do need to. Uh, here we go. Looks like my brooding skill doesn't get. Uh, my hatred is too low. Removed when I. Uh, God, I can't talk today. It looks like my hatred or my brooding skill does not get removed when things happen. Wait, what is my brooding skill? Brooding. Every second you remain stationary stacks up to three times. Five seconds after you move. So, hmm. we'll test that out. I want to see if rolling resets my brooding. Because here I am, I'm brooding. Yep, rolling moves it, or resets it. So basically, I can't move at all once I have that skill activated if I want to keep the uh, health regeneration up. Not too bad. Still totally worth it. Especially once we get the one that raises our crit by standing still. Oh shit. Uh, this is not starting off well for me. Not enough hatred. Come on, get him! Yeah, there's one, there's two, and three. We done did it. And boom goes the dynamite. Hey, welcome to the stream. Nice to have you here. Let's see. I'm trying to double check and make sure my audio is coming through. Yes, it is. Good. Okay. And now that I've sat there wasting all that, whoops. <laughs> uh, shit! Wasting more time. There we go. Yeah, kill him. There we go. All right. The hard difficulty isn't too bad, it's just kind of the you need to pay attention now difficulty. The expert difficulty is where it can get dicey. I played through um, the regular mode, non-hardcore, uh, first time in uh, this game with the expansion, the Reaper Souls, Ultimate Evil, blah blah blah, whatever, on expert. 
And I think I only died two or three times. And it was because I got stuck in, like, a high damage field. Uh, which is pretty much the bane of my existence, no matter what I seem to do in this game. It's never, like, one heavy attack. It's always, like, you're stuck here and you that. can't get away from this damage. And that's always what gets me. Oh, hey, this is the way. You can always tell you're going the right way when you run by these things. I don't understand the purpose of those, though. I mean... They're spaced apart way too far if you're actually trying to, you know, kill anybody with them. Oh shit, shit's getting dire. There we go. I hate it when I can see visible health loss. With this character, obviously, it's been, you know, standing still. Problem is, I don't have enough taunts up on my uh, on my Templar yet to really benefit me. Boop. It's not too bad. If I really wanted some some type of meat shield, I would play this on co-op, but uh, that's not the point of what we're doing here. So, <clears throat> trying to run this solo, so. Not, uh, not looking forward to when I finally get caught in a damage field and die. Not enough ah, shit. Out of discipline. That's okay, because we got him. Man, I'm really not uh, not grabbing any good uh, good weaponry at this point. Oh well. All right, here we go, level two. I think I might have been here already, and then I had to quit out or something. I don't know. What skills do I have equipped? Passive. What's that next one? Numbing traps. Okay. So what I like is perfectionist, which isn't bad, but. Doesn't really mesh with my play style. Not too well, anyways. I like that it gives you a number and tells you how many sentries down on the little skill bar on the bottom, how many sentries you have left to drop, or how many sentries you have available to drop. It doesn't tell you how many you have up at one time or anything like that. Which could be better, but... Stun and knockback enemies you vault through. Reduce this one cost if you vault immediately again after landing. Nah, that's not worth it. I'm looking for caltrops. We got smoke screen, but I don't use smoke screen. Not right now, anyways. Oop. Paragon doesn't even matter anymore because I don't have any paragon. <laughs> Increase hatred. Throw cluster grenades with large explosions. How's this feel? Doesn't feel very good. It's an up-close attack. Waiting for grenade cache. Throw two additional grenades. Grenade has a chance to stun enemies. Throw a grenade that explodes and leave a cloud of blah blah blah. Fire three enemies and occasionally perform a backflip. I haven't looked at these in a long time, so it's just kind of getting my... Uh... What's the damn word I'm looking for? Will explode. Increase damage, but taste longer. That's not. That's okay. Yeah, this is the good one for now. Because I don't know. I might change the way I have my character built. I'm not 100% at this point. What I really want to do. I do know I want those damn homing missiles, though feel like, especially for clumping enemies like that, that'll uh, help me out tremendously. Just because it'll, it'll give me more of an opportunity to stay mobile, I guess. Mobile. Mobile. Oh, that one's good. I like that those freaking uh, turrets have infinite ammo and can't be killed. 
If those could be killed, that would get pretty annoying. Okay, let's let the fire go away. Wow, that gives you no time to jump through there. However, we have found the way through to the next area, so... Come on, buddy! That's such a satisfying skill. It looks so awesome. There we go. Yeah, get him. Explosions and death kills. Come on. Burn him down. I think that's my catchphrase for this game is burn them down. Which is appropriate when you're using fire skills, but I'm not always using fire skills, so you know. Oh, there's a thing down there. Help me! I'm trapped! In here! Okay, we're going to come help you, buddy. I have a feeling we're going to need to drop some of those. Oh, shit. Good news is, with the caltrips, he's not fast, so I can pretty much stay away from him. Ooh! There we go. Side twelve sixty three Yano Kyrgyzstani. Finally, some good summer. equipment that helps us. Burned rooms into my flesh. They say all the torture and darkness. Well, that sounds creepy. Into demonic slaves. God bless you. I was certain I was gonna die in there. Dumbass. I heard rumors of vast treasure to be found down here. And he went inside an Iron Maiden he could clearly see had nothing in it, going, Hmm, I wonder if that treasure. You're stupid. Oh! Oh, let's pop this down and continue on. There we go. Sorry, I had to adjust my position on this uh, love seat here. Getting tired of sitting forward with my knees jammed into my or my elbows jammed into my knees. Not fun after a long time, let me tell you. Hey, we're out of the place and it's nice and rain. Oh, what's going on? I wonder what this is. This is a cool looking bridge. I like the look of this bridge. It's very bridgey. And yes, I know I'm a retard. Duh, I like the bridge. I feel like George Lucas when I talk like that. Like when he had, what's his face? The guy who does all the... Uh, do all the, you know, amazing posters for the Star Wars movies. And he's like, I like that Luke Skywalker is holding a lightsaber. And he's like, uh, yeah, George. When it's like the, the poster pretty much kind of gives you a tone for the entire movie and, and explains parts about the movie just with the composition of the poster. And George is just like, I like that Han Solo is standing with this look on his face. I mean, he created Star Wars and then he ruined Star Wars and retroactively ruined everybody's childhood, including mine. Yo, I don't... I, there is no such thing is too much hate for George Lucas. And now he sold it to fucking Disney a couple of years ago. What, seven comes out? It's just gonna be... Uh, whatchamacallit. Uh, it's just gonna be Pirates of the Caribbean and goddamn space. Yeah, I'm bitching about that. I should just be happy we're getting another Star Wars movie that doesn't have anything to do with George Lucas. However, I don't know. All Disney movies have kind of boiled down to be the same damn thing at this point. It's kind of gotten old. To me. To me, it's gotten old. Yeah. 